Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine Tyler and I'm a college student who loves living a healthy and balanced lifestyle. And in today's video, I'm going to show you everything my super fit mom eats in a day. Lately on TikTok, I've been seeing these trends about like the stereotypical skinny moms, kind of like Yolanda Hadid, who don't really prioritize health and make their daughters diet and I just really, really don't like that. So I wanted to show you what my mom eats because she's super intuitive, she's balanced, and she basically helped me create the healthy relationship with food that I have today. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos every Sunday and go grab a snack and enjoy the video. Buenos dias! We're in Los Cabos. Honestly, I feel like I'm the best version of myself whenever I'm at home. It's been way too long. I am going back to Berkeley next week, but today's video is going to be at home in Cabo. And like you saw in the introduction, I'm going to show you what my mom eats. This is going to be tough because my mom, she hates being filmed. That's why I do a lot of voiceovers in my videos because whenever I try to film my parents or my brother, no, my brother's good for the camera, but my parents specifically, they're just so awesome awkward like they don't know what to say and it's cute you know this video is gonna be a struggle I will get my mom to talk at some point but I will be showing you what she eats and some of her workouts because she's the woman who raised me she's amazing I'd say that my mom has a pretty European style breakfast because she usually just starts her day by going to her favorite coffee shop and choosing a pastry alongside a cappuccino or a latte with whole milk in my family balance is key so sometimes breakfast will look like a pastry and coffee and other times it'll be like the stereotypical avocado toast or smoothie Bowls, but my mom pretty much enjoys all foods in moderation. And here she is being an aesthetic vlogger and showing how good this muffin was. I think it was carrot and pecan. Now it's time for my breakfast. I think I'm gonna eat two breakfasts today. Even though this is what my mom eats, I'm still gonna show what I eat. This is my fourth square so far of these like PMS brownie fudgy protein bar things that they're really good for like when you're on your period because they have like pumpkin seeds and dates. This recipe is on my Instagram and I have to run a couple errands with my mom before I go back to Berkeley. But after that, I want to bake something because I want to show you guys another healthy recipe. I haven't really decided what I'm going to make yet. However, I'm here because you guys have to make a really important decision for me, like a life-changing decision about where I should move after graduating. But before I get into that, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Let's make some matcha. I have to admit that I was one of those people that was kind of hesitant about matcha. I've just never really been a beverage person. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink, period. So I was always like, eh, like matcha, how good can it be? Guys, it's amazing. But what really makes a difference is if you're drinking premium, high quality matcha. And this is a great time to announce that this video is sponsored by matcha.com. Matcha.com, people, you know it's gonna be good. It's grown on the hillsides of Uji, which is just outside Kyoto, which is the ancient capital of Japan and the birthplace of matcha. Because of big corporations, only less than 60 authentic matcha tea farms are left in the whole world. And every purchase from matcha.com helps protect authentic Japanese matcha tea farmers and their farms. Support small farmers, it's really gonna change the world. Making a warm cup of matcha is such a relaxing and cozy and a really beautiful ritual. It pays an homage to Japanese culture and on top of that, this matcha's color is absolutely stunning. And really it's just the perfect way to start the day because it's full of antioxidants, so it's gonna boost your immune system and of course, it's absolutely delicious. This matcha is so silky. Like I can't describe it any other way. It feels like silk. It feels luxurious. It's so perfect. So if you want to get your hands on this delicious and beautiful matcha, you can click the link in my description box and use my code Jasmine for 20% off your first purchase. Use my code Jasmine. Nourish your body and your soul with this beautiful matcha. Let's go talk about the issue at hand. So I have a big dilemma buffering. I feel the need to move somewhere after graduating college this May. I'm definitely feeling a little bit lost right now. I know like your 20s or even like your late teens, you know, there's so many changes going on and it's okay to not have everything figured out. It's okay. That's what, <laughs> that's what I keep telling myself. I'm rambling. I've always wanted to go to Europe. I've never been and I feel like I could see myself living there, you know, maybe in like Barcelona. Barcelona. I feel like that's a really cool coastal city. I also love Call Me By Your Name. I know that's in the north of Italy, but I would love to live like the southern coast of Italy somewhere to learn the language too or France because I took five years of French and I've never become fluent because I suck. So those are my options in Europe but also don't hate me please. I kind of want to move to LA. I, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Not another influencer wanting to move to LA but hear me out. I will never be one of those LA people like I just don't have those bones in my body. Not that there's anything wrong with that but that's just like not who I am. There are a lot of business opportunities in LA. I want to start my own food company which I've kind of showed you guys behind the scenes it's gonna be granola which I'm so excited about protein and superfood boosted it's in the works and to be in Los Angeles would really help me business wise like market it get it into grocery stores and yes do influencer things Ugh. it's such a dilemma I want to be cultural I 
I want to learn all the amazing languages in Europe. I also want to be close to home and LA is less than a two hour flight to Cabo. It's direct. I could be close to my family and it's not so much of a big life change, but it's still out of my comfort zone and it'll give me like opportunities to grow. So I don't know. I'm leaving this in your hands again. You guys help me decide whether I should move to Hawaii or Italy last semester. We chose Hawaii, obviously. All the vlogs are on my YouTube channel, but yeah, I, I need help with this one. I'm gonna eat this, get changed for some errands, and then we're really gonna, we're gonna get into the whole cooking, chill day in Cabo. Yeah, thanks for listening to my <laughs> court of life crisis. <laughs> They feel soft and moist. And they're not too sweet. They're like a nice breakfast cookie. So I was telling my mom about Yolanda Hadid, or not just Yolanda Hadid, but like any mom that's like very diety and has like rice cakes and almonds and like things like that that are very like, not intuitive, the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts on like that whole skinny mom stereotype? You know what I mean? I never did any of that to you, huh? You kind of sheltered us a little bit, but not to the point where we felt like deprived or anything. I just would never buy Coca-Cola or we just never had it in the house, so you just don't crave it. But then if we'd go to like Paraguay or like family vacations, we'd drink soft drinks and like eat whatever was around. So it wasn't like we were like restrictive, it was more like it wasn't a part of our daily habits. We didn't even know about it. The first time we ever went to Paraguay, Sebastian was like two years old and his uncle gave him like an ice cream pop. He gives it to Sebastian and Sebastian just holds it. <laughs> He thought it was like a balloon, like he didn't know what to do with it. And the uncle was like, oh my God, what kind of parents are you? <laughs> Sebastian's just like looking at the pretty colors, you know? Yeah. In a nutshell, and I feel like the parent I would want to be, I don't see the need for a toddler to be having fast food and, and soft drinks because like they don't know what they're missing. But like as you grow up, not being restrictive, but also like prioritizing healthy foods. You know, like what we do, balance and all things. I'm going to show my mom's workout later on today because she's like a fit queen and we're going to have lunch and dinner, maybe a beach walk. Good. Can eat more cookies. Bye. Now it's time for a delicious lunch, and today I decided to cook for my mom and I, but first I had to let the hair down, and whenever I'm at home, I pretty much just cook everything for my family, and today we had some salmon. My favorite way to cook it as of late is with a dry rub. So this is a Cajun rub that I just bought at the store, and I just cook the salmon with lots of olive oil on high heat so it gets seared, and I don't know about you guys, but I honestly love eating salmon skin if it's super crispy because it has lots of essential nutrients. My mom doesn't like salmon skin, though and here's a little behind the scenes because my back always hurts because of my herniated discs whenever I'm cooking I'll usually just kind of lay around on the floor of my kitchen to serve alongside the salmon I decided to heat up some of our leftover crispy Brussels sprouts because we always got to have some veggies in every single meal usually for lunch my mom likes to have a big source of protein like salmon or chicken and then serve it with some rice and some vegetables and it's honestly so simple and here's me realizing that we didn't have enough Brussels sprouts for everyone so I had to divide it into two plates and she also eats at least an avocado a day so I added some avocado to this plate. I was gonna wait to eat until my mom got here so we could have like a nice mother-daughter lunch. Not happening. I'm hangry. I'm gonna eat this pretty quickly. Whenever I go out to lunch with friends, I'm always the first person to finish eating. Like I wish I could appreciate like the flavors and textures and be like more present with my food. But you put a plate in front of me, it will be gone in like less than three minutes. Mmm, listen to the crunch. That was a fail. <laughs> Are there no veggies for Papa? Wait, Papa! Jesus, are you there? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys my mom's workout. We're gonna go on a beach walk in a little bit, but I asked her to run you guys through some of her favorite exercises. She's definitely much more active than me. She goes mountain biking with my dad very frequently, but when they're not mountain biking, they're surfing, or she does like these really intense functional training circuits, and she uses like giant sets, which she'll explain. I don't really know how to explain it. And she does like a lot of like explosive things, like lots of hits, so let's see what she does. Ugh, the ab workout. <sighs> like hold it, hold it for, no, like look to this, to the right, there, like that. Flex. Open one arm like you were doing before. 
So first of all, what would like a week of workouts be for you? A typical week could usually be three, four times a week doing mountain biking. And in between those, some um, strength working out or <laughs> working out. <laughs> 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. You start with one side, right side, lunge up, all the way down for a full 50 seconds. Nice and slow, control, 10 second rest, and then you're gonna do 30 seconds. What are these called? Jump lunges. Yeah, that, you do that for 30, and after 30, you hold it for 20, no rest. And you hold that for 20 and then you subside. that three times each. Amazing. Burn. After my mom's quick workout, we decided to go on a lovely beach walk because it's one of my last days here in Cabo before I go to Mexico City. And you guys will get to see that vlog next Sunday. Then when we got home, I decided to do some arm strengthening exercises because of my herniated disc. I always have to stay active and these are so good for your abs. I definitely recommend doing like 15 rounds per side. And then I started cooking some chicken. I had this marinating overnight with some lemon, rosemary, and thyme and that's pretty much it, and then I added salt and pepper and cooked it in olive oil. And here my mom is using a meat thermometer to check that I'm not overcooking the chicken because I hate it when chicken is super juicy. It just kind of grosses me out. So I like to have my chicken super dry and almost burnt. So she took her chicken out earlier than me. And for today's salad, my mom was craving something crunchy and hydrating. So we decided to make a peanut sauce chicken salad, kind of inspired by chicken saute, which is my favorite thing to order at Thai restaurants. Pour on lots of that peanut sauce onto your lettuce and also add any crunchy vegetables you like. Today we chose cabbage and carrots and it created such a beautiful color and then afterwards my mom was craving more healthy fats and like I said she eats tons of avocados so she added half an avocado and also some pumpkin seeds. Do you approve? I approve. Another one. Do you approve? No. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that. No. Avocado. You Peanut sauce as a salad dressing. Wow. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment below and decide for me whether I should move to LA or Europe. Big decision, I'm letting you guys decide for me. And next Sunday, you're gonna see my Mexico City adventure, which will be very fun. And then I'll be back in Berkeley to graduate. Exciting things happening. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye, love you.